Hey my, welcome back to another hair tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I installed this beautiful 4C Edges realistic afro kinky curly wig. It's a 13 by four undetectable lace front by Love Me Hair. Now I know you guys are looking at those edges. Those edges are supposed to mimic the typical textured African American woman's edges. And I'm gonna show you guys a comparison to my edges to this wig as well. So make sure you stick around, that way you're able to watch how I was able to install this wig the glueless way of course. So as usual, I'm just giving you guys a very quick unboxing. Love Me Hair is really good at sending you a bunch of goodies to go along with your wig, as well as some much needed information. That way you're able to know exactly how to care for the hair. Okay, so here is the wig. Once again, this is their 13 by four undetectable lace front wig, which is Afro inspired. It's a kinky curly texture with 4C edges. Now look at those edges, you guys. Those edges, once again, they're supposed to mimic the African American edges, those textured edges that we all love so much as naturals. And once you have the wig on, it's supposed to look like it's literally growing from the scalp. So a natural hairline that's super realistic. So right now I'm just showing you guys my natural edges. I wanted to give you guys a close up because once again, we're gonna do a comparison to my natural edges to the wig later on. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now, it was literally like spot on, okay? But we'll do the comparison later on. So I had bleached the lace off camera, but now I'm just showing you guys another close up of those edges, those beautiful edges that is supposed to look extremely natural. And by the way, you guys, you're supposed to be able to install this wig in one, two, three. You can install it gluelessly. Um, you can use a little bit of spray if you would like. But as far as the hairline itself, this wig is supposed to be a no alteration wig. So you're supposed to be able to just throw it on and go. And by the way, you guys, I did not have to pluck this frontal at all, just so you guys know, okay? I did not have to do anything to the frontal whatsoever. So it's definitely living up to its name. Now, as usual, I did install this wig the glueless way, but I did use a little bit of spray on the sides, but I did not use any spray like right in the center of the lace front. So literally only by the sides, by my sideburns, because I wanted the wig to just be a little bit more snug and I used the got to be glue spray. So I still didn't use any type of glue or anything like that. And I only used the spray on the sides of the wig. So that's a pretty easy, you know, process. I just spray twice there, go in with the blow dryer and make sure it's secure by tying it down with the elastic. Band. Okay, so now that that's finished, it is time to get rid of this additional lace, which is hard to see even while I'm editing this video. The lace is super undetectable, you guys, and you guys will see when I do the side-by-side -side comparison. I did not retouch the photos that I'm gonna show you guys at all. Like, the lace is literally that see-through, okay? So I'm just going in with my small razor and my small scissors just to get rid of all the additional lace that I do not want there anymore. And then I'm gonna go in with my rat tail comb and spray a little bit of the Got To Be Glue spray on the rat tail comb, dab it on the edges of that lace, and really make sure that the lace is super melted. And on top of that, I'm gonna go in with my makeup as well so that the lace looks a little bit more like my skin color. So I'm gonna let you guys watch all of that good stuff and I'll come back in a few.
All right, you guys, it's time to style. I'm gonna give you another quick close-up of those edges. They're looking really natural, looking really nice. So I'm gonna go in with the classic middle part. And by the way, I am going to use my hot comb with this wig, but I'm only going to use it at the very top. I am not going to hot comb through those curls and I am not going to hot comb through those edges because I want it to remain at that kinky, curly type of texture, okay? I'm only doing this step because I want the very top of the wig to be flat. The rest of the hair is supposed to be nice and poofy and curly and very dense, but the top of the wig, I want it to look very natural, so that's why I'm doing this. And then afterwards, I'm going to just style the hair. All I used was water and some mousse. Now, whenever it comes to kinky, curly wigs, I treat it just like my natural hair. So I finger detangle, okay, with a lot of water, or if you wanna use a little bit of conditioner, you're more than welcome to do so, but I normally just stick to water, get it nice and wet, finger detangle, go in with a little bit of mousse. You really do not need to do that much and it's not that complicated so I'm gonna let you guys watch and I'll come back later for the comparison All right, you guys, so these photos are literally screenshots from the video, okay, from the tutorial, so I did not retouch anything. I'm showing you guys my natural edges compared to the Love Me Hair wig edges, and as you guys can see, it is super spot on, okay, very much spot on. So, as always, I will have all the information listed in the description box down below. I wanna thank Love Me Hair for sponsoring this video. Once again, you guys did it with another wonderful wig, and by the way, you guys, you guys see the movement in this wig, okay? But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate you, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.